Do you know what time it is? Tool time! No, I'm not El Borland. I'm not going to get myself in trouble with that. Um, but I do feel like I'm kind of tool time guy. Anyway, um, have you got a busy calendar in Outlook? There's a new feature that's going to help you maybe make some more sense of all of those colored blocks and things that are filling up your time. I, I know when there's a lot of things on my screen, I do find it hard to, to filter through and find stuff. So we have a filter within Outlook on the web and the new Outlook experience if you're starting to use that too. Um, I've got my calendar here. Uh, I've got it in week view because I'm trying to show a few things that I'm planning to do in the weekend. Uh, now, not a terribly busy calendar. This is not my true work calendar, but um, I do have a few events in here. I've used categories. I've uh, got a few uh, events that are tentative and, and all sorts of things, lots of scenarios. So what can we use this filter for? Well. Let's check it out. At the top of our calendar, we have the filter button. Uh, we can uh, see all calendar events. That's what we're looking at right now. But one scenario is, show me some of the meetings that I am going to be organizing. So ones that are coming up that I probably need to spend a bit of time on to organize and prepare. Uh, so we'll go down to our filter where meetings and I'm the organizer. And there's a few there that I have organized that I need to prepare ahead of time. Um, so good to be able to just filter everything out, check that out and plan accordingly. And maybe while in this view, I can create some buffer zones and maybe some content or rather some block out some time to prepare for those meetings. Let's go back. What's another scenario? Uh, what about tentative meetings? I tend to have a few of those. Uh, so if I filter down and I show show the show as filter and show as tentative, then this shows meetings that I haven't really confirmed whether I'm going to attend or not, or maybe I haven't yet RSVP'd at all. So I could look over these and just see if there's any that I can turn into a definite no or a definite yes and, uh, and firm up that time. It's really good for organizers of meetings to be able to know who really is attending. What other scenarios? We have uh, show recurring meetings. So let's have a look at the recurrence uh, filter and we'll go through to series. And what are some of the meetings that I attend regularly that I might be able to, I don't know, negotiate whether I need to attend this meeting this week or potentially could I turn this into some kind of conversation in a Teams um, chat or a email? And it doesn't even have to be a meeting. Um, so I can look at that. Oh, look, there's one called Take Bins Out. I probably shouldn't remove that one. It's a good reminder. Uh, one other scenario I think there was. Oh, that's right. There was show events with different categories. So I'm trying to get back into using categories again for meetings. Uh, apart from making it look like a very colorful calendar, if you're using them cleverly, then uh, you can uh, easily organize your time and see how much time am I spending on certain things. So I've got uh, opportunities and things that I'm working on now that I am an independent consultant, and I do want to glance over my calendar and see how much time am I spending on opportunities and connecting with partners and uh, various other people that I could be doing a bit more business with. So I can look at that and think, hmm, I need to spend a bit more time on opportunities. Let's see if I can slot in some of that, that time. But also, because it's a business opportunity, then I probably should be giving it more attention. I could probably spend a bit of time working uh, to prepare for those, those meetings and have the best experience bringing value. So filters and a few scenarios of how to use that and to clear out your calendar and focus on the things that you need to while you're planning your time. I think this is a really good feature. Like to see it. It's an Outlook on the web and in the new version of Outlook. And I think there was something like it in Outlook on desktop. But to be honest, it's been a while since I've used Outlook on the desktop. So uh, if you like those sorts of tips, you know where to find me, you know what to do. This is the channel that you need to subscribe to or like if you found this video helpful. And uh, if you want to get in touch, um, then uh, do find my details in this description of the video. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.